What is happening in Ukraine is affecting the whole world food security. We must understand that we were already in a world that we have 166 more million people chronically undernourished because of COVID-19. In a world that 3 billion people didn't have access to healthy diets. We know that the world is highly concentrated in terms of exports of cereals. So very few countries have a significant share of the exports to the world. Ukraine and Russia Federation, we are talking that together they represent one third of the world's cereal exports. Not only that, Russia represents 55% of the production of sunflower, and they are also key exporter of fertilizers. Basically, North Africa is fully dependent on the imports of wheat from Ukraine and, and Russia Federation, but also some countries in South Asia. For example, Bangladesh and Indonesia are key importers of this country. But in total, we are talking around 50 countries depend on 30% of imports from these two countries. And 26 countries depend on more than 50% on the imports of these countries. That's not only talking on cereals. If we talk about fertilizers, more than 30 countries depend on more than 30% of the imports of fertilizers from these two countries. Our job as FAO, working together with WFP and other partners, is first to assure a humanitarian response to the people that really need food. The second job is to try to assure that at least the planting season for the, for the next planting season happens so that we can work with the farmers and try to provide them seeds and fertilizers so that they can keep producing. We need to look is okay, how we can help countries that were food import dependent of these two countries to diversify the sourcing of food. But at the same time, we need to, in parallel, start building a reconstruction plan for Ukraine so when the conflict is, stops, we can quickly move back into production of this country. We need to start planning now so that we know under different scenarios of potential effects or impacts over the logistics of Ukraine, what can be done immediately 